Let me just start by saying, if Apple made a docking station, it would probably look like this, but they did it. So Ivanki did, and thank God for that, because the Fusion Dock Max 1 is the type of gadget that makes you whisper Finally. Un under your breath, like you're in a dramatic movie trailer. Let's talk design. It's sleek, it's aluminum, it matches your MacBook like there are high school sweethearts who actually made it work. It even has those classy heat vents that scream, I do taxes and video editing. Plus, it sits under your MacBook like a throne. Which is fitting because you'll feel like royalty once you plug into this thing. And by the way, this is the first dock that does not need display link drivers to duplicate your screens. Absolute game changer. Caveats to this? Well, if you have an Intel or a Windows machine, this dock will not work with your laptop. If you do have an Apple Silicon laptop, you're in luck. This dock was designed for all laptops running Apple's in-house chip, but not all Silicon is the same. Here are the compatible configurations for the type of MacBook you might have and the maximum displays and resolutions you can run. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's unbox. You know that feeling when you open up an Apple product box? That smooth slide, that clean minimalism, that sense of, I'm about to change my life. Well, Ivanki clearly studied at the same design monastery. The packaging is tight, clean, and premium. No extra fluff. You get the Fusion Dock Max 1, a gorgeous aluminum slab, a Thunderbolt 4 cable, some rubber pads for the dock to stay in place, a hefty 180 watt power brick, and a quick start guide that actually is quick and surprisingly helpful. The dock itself is solid. It feels like it could survive a mild earthquake or a tech-related tantrum. Matte aluminum body, rounded edges, heat vents, and just the right amount of heft to say, I'm here to work, not slide around on your desk like a hockey puck. I had my previous dock actually sitting below my desk, covering this kind of beauty is a crime, but I love clean and minimal. The cable is just about long enough to keep the dock situated below my desk. But unfortunately, one thing that you should probably keep in mind is that you need a Vanke's proprietary cable in order for this to work. Because it's a dual cable, I can't use a previous longer Thunderbolt cable which I purchased myself. I mean, the cable is long enough, but just barely, so something that Ivanki should consider for future iterations. The cable in the box is 1.2 meters if that helps you plan your placement. You can mount this horizontally or vertically on your desk, you choose, and there are mounting pads included, so it'll fit with whatever orientation you like. It's 2025, you should be able to choose your dock orientation, right? Alright, so set up. No drivers. Again, this is a game changer because all the other docks I reviewed need display link. No weird software, no sacrifices to the tech gods. You literally just plug in the included power brick to the dock. Yes, it's big, but it has to be. This thing charges pretty much everything. And then you just plug the Thunderbolt 4 cable from the dock into your MacBook. There's one Thunderbolt 4 cable on the port dedicated just for this. And then you plug your monitor, keyboards, hard drives, espresso machines, whatever you have into the back. And that's it. Everything works. I'm not even kidding. I had my 4K display up and running in about 15 seconds. My external SSD is mounted instantly and my audio interface recognized with zero hiccups. I didn't even get to sigh in frustration like I usually do when setting up docks like this. Honestly, a little disappointing. I like the drama. The cable is unique here and there's a reason for that. It's one cable, but it plugs into two of your Thunderbolt ports on your MacBook. And the reason, well, the dock has not one, but two Thunderbolt 4 chips so that it can run all of your displays, power all of your devices, and give you the maximum bandwidth when transferring files without having to install anything extra. Now all of the technical specs are listed on their site, which I will link down below. So I'm not gonna bore you with that. All I can really tell you is that having two ports going to the dock makes this thing incredibly fast in my real world usage. This is where Ivanki flexes. The Fusion Dock Max 1 doesn't mess around. It's a true Thunderbolt 4 dock built specifically for M1, M2, M3, M4, pretty much every 
Apple Silicon laptop under the sun. This means everything works as intended and it has all of the ports. Now, before I cover the display ports, I'll talk about everything else on the dock. So first on the front, we have two USB-C 3.2 generation two ports. This run at 10 gigabits per second with 30 watt charging. That's perfect for your phone or iPad. We also have two USB-A 10 gigabit per second ports, one SD 4.0 card reader, which has UHS two speeds, and of course one 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Because yes, some of us still use wired headphones. Now the back is where we have the real muscle. We have a 3.5 millimeter line out port for your speakers, one optical out port, if your speakers aren't from 2001, three USB-A 3.2 Gen 2 ports. These are running at 10 gigabits per second, so fast external SSDs are welcome here. One 2.5 gigabit ethernet port, because wireless is for peasant steering Zoom calls. And of course, a DC power input for the 180 watt power supply. Now the fun part, let's talk about those displays. We have a whopping four USB-C ports at 40 gigabits per second, two on the front, two on the back. These are all downstream ports, so any of them can be used to power up to two displays at 6K 60 Hertz. The remaining two can be used for anything else you might have that aren't displays. We also have two HDMI 2.0 ports, which will run you at 4K 60 Hertz. So that gives you a maximum of four monitors in crystal clear clarity. The best thing about this dock, as I mentioned before, is that it is plug and play. No extra drivers or adapters are needed, which is a huge plus. It is now my current workstation powerhouse and I don't see myself replacing this with anything else in the near future. Now, this dock will run you about $360 and I have the best prices available to you through my Amazon links down below. Using those links will just help me make better content for you. I hope this video has been informative for you and has given you a little bit of insight into the Fusion Dock Max one. If you have any questions for me, do leave it down below in the comments. I will answer them as quickly as I can. Until next time, my name is J.I. Thank you for watching and thank you for kicking it with me.